Welcome to Module 2, Lesson 7 of the AMZ Affiliate Bootcamp, and this is the lesson where we're going to be diving into something that I know you've been worrying about in the back of your head. Most likely, it's causing a slight sense of doubt in this whole concept of an affiliate website and is the primary source of any hesitation you might have with this type of business. It all comes down to the C word, that one thing which is the ever-present concern of many a business owner, which is competition. Right? What if my niche is too competitive? How can I compete against a massive company? What's going to stop somebody from stealing my niche? It's okay. Stop, take a deep breath, and relax. One of the things I can say in, after many years in business is that the C word is the thing that's most commonly worried about uh, from entrepreneurs, but is also, at least in my experience, something that has literally never caused any problems for me. Basically, there's so many obstacles uh, in entrepreneurship that there's a lot of other things that you can worry about that'll hang you up, but this is one where you just got to pay attention, you got to understand how to assess it, as we're going to be going through shortly, and you'll be fine. Basically, it won't cause any problems for you at all if you do your due diligence, which is what this lesson is all about. First off, most people have it backwards. Competition actually isn't a bad thing. In fact, it's usually a good sign as it means there's money to be made, right? If there's no competition, that usually means that businesses have tried and failed to, to target the same type of niche or business, uh, but it ended up being a harder niche than it looks or it's not even profitable. So in this lesson, we're going to have a detailed look at how your competitors are doing and what they're doing uh, so we can have a better idea about the chance that we have to succeed in that niche and we can feel confident in proceeding forward. So who are your actual competitors as an Amazon affiliate website owner? It's probably not who you think it is. Your primary competitors are simply content websites that are targeting the same sets of keywords that you're aiming for. And they can be big or they can be small, but as long as they're ranking uh, on, top, on the top 10 for your target keywords, then they end up being your competitors. Now, when doing market research for, for your niche, uh, we specifically want to see several low authority competitors that are successful, which means that they're ranking for lots of informational and commercial keywords, as we talked about in the last two lessons. Now, why is that? Well, number one, it shows that there's room for a new site to enter the niche, and the keywords that you want to target are also not very hard to rank for. And two, you can also discover hundreds of great keywords that you'd never even think about by analyzing their keyword data. So uh, it's a win-win-win on several fronts there. All right, so now that you've looked at your competitors, you found out who they are, you found a couple that are low authority, how do you find and beat those low authority competitors? Well, what we need to do is simply analyze their keywords, their content, and backlinks to figure out what's working for them and then just do it better. Very, very simple process. First off, what is considered a quote-unquote low authority competitor, right? Well, just to recap, sites that we consider low authority are less than two years old, or they have a domain authority of less than 25. Uh, low domain authority sites are easier to compete with as they haven't done much promotional work. And we can realistically achieve domain authority of 25 or higher within six to eight months of solid promotional work. So that shouldn't be a problem. Now let's talk about easy ways to find these competitors. There's primarily four strategies that you can use uh, and make sure to go in order in these different strategies. The first phase in this approach is to find some seed sites. So first off, look for uh, the top 10 results of easy keywords with KC less than 30, and then uh, search for keyword plus the word blog. Phase two is to expand the list with related sites. And you can do this by finding the advanced search operator to find related sites in Google, which is uh, just searching for related colon and then the domain.com, right? And then and next you're gonna be using SEM Rush's main organic competitors, as you can see here. Now let's do a walkthrough of what exactly that looks like. So now that you have a list of competitors recorded in the market research tab of the spreadsheet, now it's time to go through and analyze and, and analyze the strength of those competitors. So things like domain authority, the number of pages that are uh, ranking in Google and things like that. This will help give us an idea of the level of competition overall in the niche. And the way we're gonna do that primarily is by putting it in through, uh, first off through SEM Rush. So let's go with the first one. So as you can see here, when we search on SEMrush for this domain, we get the traffic. 
And we also get the number of, uh, of keywords, which we can record in the spreadsheet here. So we've got those recorded. Uh, now we also need to uh, search for the, the number of pages, which we can search in Google by taking this. OK, so we can search for the number of pages by typing site colon no space domain. <laughs> now there's 91 results, which means there are 91 pages, which we can record in our spreadsheet. Now let's do the same for the next one. We take hunting for binoculars.net, search on SEMrush. And the results are that they have 5,600 for the traffic and uh, 2,787 for the keywords. So, and 5,600. And now we need to check and see how they rank in Google in terms of the number of pages. So we can search site colon domain and they have 59 so 59 so if we want to look at this uh, these domains and see if they're successful or not there's a couple things we can look at the first one is the organic traffic and this graph right here shows you the the traffic over time uh, it actually is pretty new and it's grown quite quickly so it's definitely doing really 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 well and beyond that and actually you can see it's gone way up over the past year or so um, and beyond that SEMrush tends to underestimate traffic so it's probably a little bit above that and not to mention this is only organic traffic through Google so certainly they have other forms of traffic as well so the real number is actually quite a bit above this so to put that into perspective, the real traffic, the total traffic, is probably not only 5,600, it's probably two to three times that when you factor in those various factors. So the real traffic per month this website's getting is probably more on the scale of 10 to 15,000 people to their site per month. Now beyond using SEMrush, you should also take a look at the actual website of the competitor. Take a look at their articles, how they structure their site, and see what they're doing right, see what they're doing wrong. It gives you an idea of how strong of a competitor they are and also ways to beat them out if you're going to go in the same niche. So as you can see here, these are product comparisons, which leads to reviews. Uh, and so we can record all of these types of notes uh, in the actual notes section here. Uh, so some idea of the types of content they use when the website was started, uh, so we can reference quickly later. So one thing you want to do as you take a look at your competitors is find common themes. Because if you're going to go into a certain niche, you're going to want to be able to stand out. Now, there might be common shortcomings in these sites or uh, some way to differentiate yourself within the niche. That's very important to think about from the very beginning. So some ways you can think about doing that is maybe you can provide content that goes way more in depth, or maybe you can provide the same quality of content, but with much uh, more aesthetic design, much better formatting. Maybe you can provide a much overall better user experience, or maybe you'll focus on doing better marketing and building uh, a wider variety and a higher number of high quality backlinks to promote the site, even with the similar content. So those are some possible strategies for differentiating yourself and standing on the shoulders of your competition. And don't worry if you don't know how to build backlinks yet, that's also something we'll be going through. How to build powerful backlinks to rank and grow your site quickly. So that's it. That's how to analyze your competition. Pretty simple, right? And in the next lesson, we'll be making the, the final decision on the niche that you'll be going for based on all the information that we've now been compiling. Stay tuned. Great, so after this lesson, you now know how to analyze your competition to make sure you can dominate in your niche. Simply follow the steps we just went through and you're golden. Next, we're on to lesson eight where, drumroll please, you will be making your final niche selection.